I know. <laughs> because for what I do, we have to have so many tools in the toolbox. Uh, just one. Just one. Just one. Or an object. It doesn't have to be a tool. It can be an object. You know what? Yeah. I know. All right. One of the things I learned from my father was furniture building. Okay. He was an aerospace engineer and built satellites. <laughs> and Runs in the family, yeah? building things. <laughs> <laughs> and built furniture at home. And I still build it in the same exact workshop. My God. I'm reading more into this that I didn't want to... I d what did Rex Huerman's dad do in that workshop? What did Rex Huerman's dad do in that workshop? Because he's acting fucking weird. His dad built satellites. That doesn't mean he knows how to make furniture. Because none of this story makes sense. He's a sick, sick motherfucker. Let's listen to that again. Let's listen to him talk about, because we, that workshop, look at his fingers. That workshop was in his, his home he grew up in. And the guy that's in jail that we think might be trying to get out and clear it on DNA is a carpenter by trade. This is so bizarre. Just one. Or an object. It doesn't have to be a tool. It can be an option. You know what? Yeah. I know. All right. One of the things I learned from my father was furniture building. Okay. He was an aerospace engineer and built satellites. <laughs> and Runs in the family, yeah? building things. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> built furniture at home. And I still build it in the same exact workshop. So? I have one tool that's pretty much used in almost every job. And it's actually a cabinet maker's hammer. Can we, oh, okay. And cabinet maker hammer. Okay. It is persuasive enough <laughs> when I need to persuade something. It Not someone. Something. <laughs> and it always... He loves this. He is a sick, sick individual yields excellent results yeah. and at the end of the project whatever piece of furniture or what i'm working on it always helps whatever piece of furniture or what i'm working on come out beautifully okay great so you would be kind of a that kind of hammer for your uh for your business that's what you're saying if yeah, that doesn't yeah. exist that's what you would be Sometimes I have to be the heavy framing hammer. <laughs> the heavy framing hammer. Other times I'm the lightweight hammer just to <laughs> nudge things along. All right. I guess it's a hammer. We got it. That's it, folks. That was Rex, owner, founder of RH Consultant. So if you have any... He is sick. Can I play that part again? Is... We broke it down. Now I want to hear it just straight through. They're all so different and how you can be a tool, it can be an option. No. <laughs> because for what I do, we have to have so many tools in the toolbox. Uh, just one. Just one. Just one. Or an object, it doesn't have to be a tool, it can be an option. You know what? Yeah. I know. All right. One of the things I learned from my father was furniture building. Okay. He was an aerospace engineer and built satellites <laughs> and runs in the family, yeah? building <laughs> things. <laughs> and <laughs> built furniture at home. And I still build it in the same exact workshop. So I have one tool that's pretty much used in almost every job. And it's actually a cabinet maker's hammer. Can we, oh, okay. And Cabinet's maker hammer. Okay. It is persuasive enough <laughs> when I need to persuade something. It Not someone. Something. <laughs> and it always yields excellent results. Yeah. And at the end of the project, whatever piece of furniture or what I'm working on, it always helps it come out beautifully. Okay, great. So you would be kind of a, that kind of hammer for your, uh, for your business? That's what you're saying? Yeah. If that doesn't yeah. exist, that's what you would be? Sometimes I have to be the 
heavy framing hammer. The heavy framing hammer. Other times I'm the lightweight hammer just to <laughs> nudge things along. All right. I guess mm. He is disgusting. Something or someone. Why am I just so absolutely disgusted? I think it's taught me more about how to understand people because dealing with the technical aspects yeah. is something a person can learn. Mm -hmm. You go to school and through an architectural program, you work for the experience. Ugh, just the way he breathes. That's an interesting question. I know. <laughs> and look at when he says, if you were a tool, what tool would you be? And he really enjoys this. He takes a, a second thought and he's like, it's an interesting question. I can use this question to get a, to get a dig in because like someone else said, he's busting at the seams. He's busting at the seams with all these murders that he's done. Look at his eyes, the devil. The devil is dancing tonight with this one. The devil is dancing tonight. And we all know he was a mama's boy. It's been reported that he was a mama's boy. Last question. If you were a tool or an object, to help you uh, watch his mannerisms in your uh, to help you to bring your business to greater heights what would it be that's an interesting question I know <laughs> because for what I do we have to have so many tools in the toolbox uh, just one just one just one or an object, it doesn't have to be a tool, it can be an object. You know what? Yeah. I know. All right. One of the things I learned from my father was furniture building. Okay. He was an aerospace engineer and built satellites. <laughs> and Runs in the family, eh? building <laughs> things. <laughs> and <laughs> built furniture at home. And I still build it in the same exact workshop. So I have one tool that's pretty much used in almost every job, and it's actually a cabinet maker's hammer. Cabin oh, okay, and cabinet maker hammer. Okay, it is persuasive enough <laughs> when I need to persuade something. It's Not someone. Something. <laughs> And he laughs. He la oh, he is so gross. All right, I might really creep you guys out, but I'm going to slow it down a little bit more because I want to see his reaction when he says something. Someone. Something. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's he's mental. This guy is this guy is very very dangerous. I'm telling you, he is one dangerous mofo. I can't take it. It's persuasive enough <laughs> when I need to persuade something. It's Not someone. Something. <laughs> <laughs> and it always yields excellent results. Yeah. And at the end of the project, whatever piece of furniture or what I'm working on, it always helps it come out beautifully. Okay, great. So you would be... He goes beautifully, like a circle. It always comes out beautifully. Is he talking about their heads? Because I'm telling you, man, I'm I'm not reading too much into this. This dude's a sick, sick motherfucker. And look at how he's got his hands. Can you imagine his hands around their necks? 
those little tiny girls? Whatever piece of furniture or yeah, what that's I'm not how you work on, on furniture. It always helps it come out beautifully. Okay, great. So you would be kind of a, that kind of hammer for your uh, for your business. That's what you're saying. If yeah, that doesn't yeah. exist, that's what you would be. Sometimes he's so proud of himself. Be sure to check out my other videos and playlists for more true crime content. And if that's not enough, you can join our Patreon. Don't have a tinfoil hat? It's okay. We'll make you one. It's that easy. See you guys in the next video.